Glory to God. Hallelujah. Uh, this is prayers and counseling with Damaris. Are you seeing me for the very first time? You're welcome. I love you so much. The Lord bless you mightily in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this awesome word. We receive this word with gladness. We love you, Abba Father. But we thank you for your love that surpasses ours. In the name of Jesus, amen. God says, before you were formed, he knew you. He ordained you as a prophet over the nation. That's Jeremiah 1 verse 5. He says he ordained you as a prophet of the nation. But now, child of God, I don't know, for some reason, you you think your life is in your hands. You think you can control your life. You think you can sort things out for yourself. You think you can find your way over this crazy world. He says there are so many voices in the world, but none of them are without interpretation. The world is so dangerous for you to live on your own pace. It's so dangerous for you to live on your own terms. It's so dangerous. You've got to trust in a higher deity. And there is no higher deity than, than God. He says in Jeremiah 17, 5, he says, Curse be upon a man that puts his trust in another man. Curse be upon a man that puts his trust on his job, puts his trust on his hard work, puts his trust on his effort. Stop trusting in your own your own strength. Stop trusting in your own powers. Stop trusting in your, in your abilities. Sometimes you need another grace. Sometimes you need a leverage. You need something that can ease your level in the name of Jesus. Sometimes you need God to add up some some ease in that thing you're trying to do in that thing you're trying to grasp in that thing you're trying to build sometimes you need god to just add a little a little stress freeness in it god is going to help you god is going to do beyond what you can expect beyond what you can imagine he said in his word that when you ask he will give you he will show you great and mighty things that you do not know of Child of God, I pray that this word goes a long way to help you in destiny. Goes a long way to help you as to thrive towards perfection, thrive towards amassing to all that was written of you. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. God shall add ease to your level. In the name of Jesus, amen, hallelujah. Now the Lord bless you, the Lord keep you. Cause his face to shine upon you. The Lord be gracious to you. The Lord give you peace. The shalom of the Lord. Nothing missing, nothing broken. I love you. But Jesus loves you and I even more. And that is what matters. Amen.